so many of us ignore ourselves and we give to others and we give and we give. And sometimes this can be like a coping mechanism too, like people pleasing. Sometimes we do so many things for others and ignore ourselves out of a way to feel more accepted, to feel more loved or for whatever reason, right? But let's start redefining the term selfish because it is truly selfless to be selfish. And let me get into why that is because in order to fully give to others, right? Our cup needs to be full, like overflowing actually. Because if our tank is on E, if we have a lack mindset, if we are irritable, angry, upset, feeling some type of way, and we try to help others, we are then helping them from that extremely like low vibrational standpoint when really we need to be focusing on ourselves. Not to say that we can't help others, but we're able to help others on such a grander aspect, a grander level when we focus on ourselves first, okay? Because when we give to people, when our cup is empty, we're giving people the last drops of our cup. We're giving people the little bit of our cup that is most likely warm and full of backwash, right? So if you wanna make the biggest impact, helping others, helping the world, making an impact on the world, whatever, or even just to have like a fulfilling life, you paradoxically need to be focusing on yourself first. You need to make sure that your own mental, emotional, physical wellness is all good. And let me explain this on a little deeper level, like on terms of consciousness. And if we look at the vibrational scale of consciousness from the book Power Versus Force, we can see that the lower type states, right, sit lower on the scale, the higher type states sit higher on the scale, but we see it as in like it's one step ahead of each other, right? Like the next level of consciousness is like one step above. But what is really going on on a vibrational level is it's exponentially more powerful. So say that we're sitting on one level, right? And we start focusing on ourselves, we raise our vibrations, um, we become more aware, we can become more conscious. We go up on the scale of consciousness, right? We go up on the vibrational scale. But it's not just one step higher, it's exponentially higher. So say that you're near the bottom of the scale and you start focusing on yourself, you raise your vibration, you go up to the next step. Say that's like two times more powerful, okay? Then you keep focusing on yourself, you raise your vibration, then you go up to the next step. That's four times as powerful. Then to the next step, it's like eight times more powerful. And then it's 16 times more powerful. And then it's 32 times more powerful, right? So you just get exponentially more and more powerful the higher you go up on the scale of consciousness, meaning you have much more conscious control and say over your life since you are more aware Oftentimes when you are higher on the vibrational scale, you often are much more conscious of what you are manifesting into your reality. When you sit lower on the scale, you're very much so unaware, you're very much so stuck in the 3D and you're not very conscious of how you're manifesting these things into your life, right? And people who sit lower on the scale often have very, you know, like chaotic lives, whatever, whatever. But in terms of being selfish and focusing on ourselves, when we raise higher on the scale and we have like more power, you can say, more of an impact, right? Our energy is more powerful. It, we ripple effect, okay? This is really what I'm getting at. We ripple effect into everyone else's lives. It's like the butterfly effect. And because the butterflies are flapping their wings, they end up causing all of these major weather occurrences just from us being ourselves, being at a higher state, because we focus on ourselves, because we were selfish, filled our own cup up, became more aware of ourselves, healed more of ourselves, right? Really focusing on ourselves, raised up on the vibrational scale. Just by being ourselves, we have so much more of an impact on others. We don't even realize, okay? We don't even have to technically, like directly do anything to help others to be helping tons of people. And I really see this in my life too, not to say that I'm like a guru, like way up high on the scale, but even just through my own like healing journey of focusing on myself and doing the inner healing work and just like, you know, sharing my happiness, just being me. I've had so many people People reach out to me telling me how much like I've just made their day aka helping them out or how much I've inspired them to like take action on their lives or to go to the gym more or to like take control of their lives or to start a business or to show up online like or to start the inner healing work themselves like so many people just in my day-to-day -day life not even online okay just in my day-to-day -day life just from me being me I've had such a crazy ripple effect 
that I didn't even realize that I was having until these people were saying these things to me. And just imagine all the people that you are positively impacting that never end up speaking up or saying anything to you. Like you are still impacting so many more people when you focus on yourself, when you're selfish and fill your own cup up. And because we are all connected and like this interconnected web of energy, like everyone is connected through energy. When you raise your vibration, you also raise the vibration of like a hundred other people without having to do anything. That's how powerful this exponential effect is when we go up on the vibrational scale. And every little thing you do greatly impacts those around you. Just you living your life, like being happy, people will see you and you will inspire them to also be happy. If you are taking care of yourself, if you're doing inner healing work, if you're really like looking out for yourself and like having the self-respect and everything that that entails, people just have to look at you and you inspire them. You naturally raise up other people by focusing on yourself. Like your happiness inspires others, your healing inspires others, your authenticity inspires others. And sure, after focusing on yourself and making sure that your cup is full, then you can go out and directly help others. But I just want you guys to really understand how powerful it is when you focus on yourself not only to like your own well-being, like obviously we know it's powerful to ourselves if we focus on ourselves, right? And the ripple effect it has in our own lives, but the ripple effect it has in the world. And if we want to make the world a better place, okay, who doesn't? I hear a lot of people talk about how like the world is ending, the world is going. But from my perspective, I personally believe that even though we, what we're seeing all over media, all over wherever, a lot of destruction, a lot of chaos, war, I do truly believe that we are headed towards more love, more acceptance, and that we 100% have the power to create new world for ourselves where we are so much more aware of ourselves. First and foremost, when we are selfish and when we focus on ourselves and when we create that awareness in ourselves and become more emotionally intelligent and become more conscious of what we're creating in our realities and all of the things that that entails. When we do that one by one, the world already is going to shift massively from violence and chaos and whatever to much more like inner peace, right? To much more having understanding for each other, forgiving each other, being kind to each other because we put ourselves first. When our cup is empty and we have nothing to give and we feel so like just crazy because our cup is so empty, that's when things get chaotic. So how can we make the biggest impact by focusing on ourselves? How can you do the work that you need to in this world by focusing on yourself? What kind of things do you need to heal from in your past? And I'm sure some things come up in your mind when I say that, right? How do you feel on a day-to-day -day basis? How can you retrain how you feel emotionally so that you can sit on a higher level of vibration? Because our bodies truly do get like addicted to feeling certain types of way, to being in certain types of cycles. So when we can learn how to train ourselves out of those cycles, retrain who we are emotionally, which by the way, I am creating a course on that. Link is in the description below if you're interested in learning more about that. But when we can retrain how our body is wired, right? We can then sit higher on the vibrational scale, make more of an impact. How can you make your life easier? How can you make your life less stressful, right? Stress is so incredibly common. Also having routines that fill your cup up. Like for me, my routines that really fill my cup up, and if I don't do these, my cup does not feel full, <laughs> but it's often like having a slower morning routine. And this is not for everyone, this is just me, but for me having a slower morning routine, um, meditating in the morning, drinking my tea and just allowing myself to be in the present moment and like not have a million thoughts. I notice when I'm like in my day and I'm just having to think so much about everything, um, I get pretty overwhelmed and I get stressed out. And so having those slow mornings really like grounds me and fills my cup up. Also spending time with friends who I really like resonate with, who I can have deep conversations with, those really fill my cup up. Going to the gym fills my cup up because I feel like so energized and alive. Just ask yourself what things in your day drain your energy and start to cut out those things. Those are your energy leaks, right? Those are the things that are bringing you down. And also ask yourself what things in my day really light me up, really excite me. And if you don't do anything in your days that excite you, what does excite you? If nothing really comes to mind, brainstorm, right? I'm, I'm sure like there are a million things that do excite you, you just haven't gotten to them yet. Start evaluating all the different things in your life, all the different habits in your life, the people 
that you have in your life, okay? Do you feel drained after spending time with them? How do you feel afterwards doing these things? Does it give you energy or does it take away your energy? Start to fill your own cup up by doing these little things. Start to be selfish with your time. If a coworker is asking you to pile on tasks on your plate and your plate is already full, it's okay to be selfish and it's okay to say no. Start saying no much more often to things and have your time to yourself to fill your cup up to journal, to do inner healing work, whatever it is that you need to do. Because when you start being selfish, you will create incredible positive ripple effects in the world. And it is truly selfless to be selfish, okay? So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up to help out the channel. Feel free to subscribe if you wanna see more stuff like this. Share this video with anyone you feel may wanna hear it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.